guys today. We finally made it out. Um, it came early this year. I'm not going to lie. It came really early. Me and Ty are out today. Um, we're going after some pike today. So we probably set up the first tip up close to like half an hour ago, maybe a little longer. Um, and we've got two tip ups set out and then two dead six uh, inside the house here. And I don't know, we're probably sitting with a good probably four inches of ice. It's not like the best like clear ice. Uh, we were being safe, made sure we checked all the way out. I don't want to go too far out into the middle. It gets pretty deep out there and I'm assuming the ice probably isn't as good, but got uh, one tip up set up down there. Got a couple dead sticks in the house and then got the iFish Pro right there. So see how it goes. Hopefully get on some fish. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hopefully it'll be good. I'm real excited to make some videos for you guys this winter. It feels amazing to get back out on the ice. It came up quick. Honestly, I didn't think we were going to ice fish at all uh, this weekend. Now we're out here, so we'll see how it goes, guys. Ty's flag just got up. He's running with it. I just finished recording and Ty got a flag. So just pull until it gets tight, and then once you feel tension, just start ripping on him. Give him a good tug when you feel him. Is he there? Oh, took the minnow. Took the minnow dude. He was running with it. He was running it. with it good, yeah. He was he was ripping it. Well, that's that good. That was exciting. <laughs> well, that's a good sign. At least something's eaten. I almost ate it right here. Yeah, I know, it's slick. I heard it. Just walk to it slow. Alright guys, my flag is hot. up doesn't feel very big yet but might be decent this might be a good fish today Oh yeah, dude, it's a good one. <laughs> I got it, I got it. It's a good one, dude. <laughs> Gotta be careful here with the ice. That's a good one. Sweet. That's a good fish right there, dude. <laughs> Sweet. Good first fish. I was sitting in the house, heard the flag pop. Came out and he was ripping. Almost 32. Super close. Good. That was that was fun. He ate it and he was running with it hard. He choked that thing, but good fish. That was probably what maybe 20 minutes after your flag popped. So we'll see. It's slow. It's kind of just on and off, which is usually kind of how it is out here. All right, guys. Well, it's been probably I don't know at least a couple hours um, since I've last talked to you guys. We had those couple hits on the tip ups, but nothing much really going on. Um, we haven't got hit since. So. Probably gonna pack it up here. It's getting uh, into the afternoon now. I'm sure they're not gonna eat too well until this night bite, but um, just not much going on. But we'll try it again here, try and get on some more. And uh, yeah, hopefully when I see you guys, we'll be getting on some more fish here again.
new day, day two. We were able to get back out today. We're gonna give it another shot here. Uh, I got two tip-ups set up. It's just me today, so I have two less lines, unfortunately, but I think that was our problem last time is it wasn't very early. Um, we got out here a little late. Uh, just give it another try. I know there's some good fish out here, so we'll see what we can do here. There right, guys, we got a tip-up on the big sucker. Gosh, he just came off. He actually didn't even get hooked. He was too small. Over here, there's a nice little like flat that comes off, and uh, it's a lot. It's a lot shallower here than it is there, and I think that's why those fish are running this edge here, is because they can run up onto that flat if they need to get to shallow water. But then they have an easy access to drop off. So if this iFish Pro goes off one more time, then I probably will uh, move that other tip up. Uh, somewhere around this area just because it looks a little better over here, but I don't know. We'll see. There you guys, same tip up just went off. It's actually running. It's something's got it. Something's pulling hard. What was that? Oh my gosh. What was going on there? I don't want to miss this fish. If there is something there, I'd rather just set it to be safe. So I set it, and there 1,000% was a fish there, and it's, it was probably giant the way that it felt. I think the line broke on the ice. Um, when I set the hook, it must have been it must have been resting on the ice when I set the hook, and it just, it just snapped. So that was kind of my fault, but I don't know. It sucks, but there's a little quick strike rig right there pretty small quick strike rig just gotta wait and then it basically breaks off into two separate little hooks here and uh, you just put those in the middles back in the head and I've got that attached to a swivel so this is my leader line here it's like 20 pound fluorocarbon I think and then I've got that attached to my main line so get set back up here I think I'm gonna go throw out that other tip up on this side as well um, and I don't know, that's where they've been getting hit, so I'll probably try it out. Hold on. It kind of caught me off guard there. Haven't had anything pop for a while. Got it on the traditional tip up. This is uh, the iFish Pro right here. Move the traditional tip up to this side. Because that's where all the pike were kind of moving through. just kind of crazy to see a little fish like this and uh, just imagine how big these fish can actually get and I mean you guys can see here this is the minnow he ate he destroyed it I mean he was running pretty good with it there so that was pretty awesome to see that but it's been slow but at least we got a fish that's actually my first fish of the day so I've got my fish pro set up in about eight feet um, I'm gonna back this one off since it's getting a little later in the day too. Some of these fish might be moving out a little deeper to feed. They usually like to come up a little more shallow at night and um, and early in the morning and stuff like that. But later in the day, I'm gonna see if maybe these fish are backing off the weed line a little bit um, and kind of moving out uh, a little bit deeper. And um, we'll just see if that changes it for us. All right, guys, flag just popped on the deeper one. just popped too. It must only popped like a couple seconds ago. Oh, he's on there. this guy on there just a little guy like I said a little bigger than the last one which is good um, but this one was definitely deeper this was probably closer to that 12 foot mark so 
another four feet deeper than that last one over here um, with the iFish Pro, but price it out for another half an hour. I'm um, just trying to get one more before we leave here, and uh, there we go, second fish of the day. All right, guys, well, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Didn't catch a ton of fish, but it was fun. It was the first ice for me. Um, we're down in the metro Minnesota area, so um, if you guys are looking for safe ice, um, it should be good now. It's been getting really cold. Um, we're actually gonna be heading up north um, to Red Lake here this weekend, um, which is pretty sweet. That should be fun. Um, be making a ton of ice videos for you guys this season. If you have any recommendations or anything you'd like to see, just let me know, and um, I'd be happy to, to do it for you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, don't forget to get out and learn some more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Last second, I already filmed the outro and everything. Literally just popped. Just give him a second. Come on. Right at the last second. Not a giant, but best one of the day for me, so sweet. There we go. Good way to end her off. We'll be back out for him next time.